In this video, we will show you how to install staging supports on your polytunnel. Please note, staging worktops are not supplied. However, we do supply the fixings to secure your worktop to the staging supports. We will show you how to secure your worktops with fixings at the end. Here are the parts you'll need. Staging supports come in three pieces. The staging top tube is 1.2 meters long and is flattened on both ends. The staging leg is 75 centimeters long and is flattened on one end and plain on the other. The staging diagonal brace is 45 centimeters long and is flattened on both ends. Connect the staging top tube and staging leg together with a 30 mm M8 bolt and nut, ensuring a right angle is formed. Position a Q-clip onto the staging leg and another onto the staging top tube. Locate the flat ends of the staging diagonal brace to the Q-clips. Ensure the top tube and leg still form a right angle and firmly tighten the Q-clips. Fit a Q-clip to the hoop. Once the Q-clip is on the hoop, use a pair of pipe grips to close the prongs together. With the staging support now assembled, locate the flat end of the staging top tube to the Q-clip. Push a bolt through and use a nut to secure loosely in place. For polytunnels constructed on a soft base, we recommend that the staging leg is sat on a solid block. This will prevent the leg from sinking into the ground when you put weight on it. Now you will need to check that the staging support is level. Place a spirit level along the staging top tube to check this. Once the staging support is level and perpendicular to the hoop, firmly tighten the Q-clip. You can repeat this process for the remaining staging supports. Staging supports fitted to the end hoops will need to be slightly angled into the polytunnel, so that any worktops you fix will not interfere with the polytunnel cover. We have supplied you with fixing clamps to attach your staging tops. To attach worktops, use a 9mm drill bit to drill two holes through your worktop, one either side of the staging top tube. Push a bolt through each hole with the threads pointing down. Locate the tube pressing on the bolts and secure in place with nuts and firmly tighten. You can find more videos to help you build your polytunnel and construct.firsttunnels.co.uk we also have a construction helpline if you require any further assistance.